It's like Nas. Oh. 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 So fast! What? Now it's not away with the sales guy. I'm pretty sure negotiating right We're gonna figure out how much it costs to buy that Bugatti. Thank you. All right, guys. Welcome back to another episode of Data Driven Exotics. I'm Dave Coulter. Look, we got Alex Choi back in the vlog. Today is gonna be epic. And why? Because I'm gonna make Alex spend some money. Just sort of through you guys. It's like. 8 a.m. right now, and Alex wanted breakfast, and this where we are. Arby's. Arby's. This is your breakfast? This is my breakfast. Man, to be 19 again. Oh, well, you guys, what does Alex Toy drink? People want to know. What's it gonna be? What's it? <laughs> Tastes like cotton candy. And Alex has made a huge okay. mess. I apologize for him. He's never had a job before, he doesn't understand. <laughs> All right, Alex, so you recently had a rally with Damon. Yeah. And this is the rally you got handcuffed to Nick. How was that, yeah. by the way? Oh, that was horrible. Was that romantic? Yeah. That looked like I hurt, actually. We had clothes on, I promise you. So you went on a rally with Damon and Randy, and Randy let you drive his GT3. And what this color? Galgum, Galgum. What? Galgum. 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 And it sounds like you got a little taste of Porsche life, and now I. I did, and I'm like, I'm obsessed with the car. I'm literally, like, truly obsessed with the car. Hence why, the first thing I'm doing when I come back to LA is going to go check out a GT3 to buy. Yeah, guys, I can't film it. It happened too quickly, but some guy on a balcony was streaming, DDE! I was like, where's this coming from? I look out, there's a guy on like the 8th floor. That was epic. Shout out to you, dude. Sorry I didn't get you on the camera, but you know, I'm learning. I'm slow on the uh, draw here. All right, guys, we've arrived. And there are military vehicles. Holy crap. This place might literally have everything. All right, Choi. Welcome. We're going to vlog on vlog here or what? They have a lot of cool cars here, don't they? They have an amazing amount of cars. I don't think it's important what car you buy, but it's how many cars you buy. Here you this. A little Bugatti action, Brandon. Oh, yeah. You here to make an offer? So I came here to buy? Yeah. Oh. We're all going to go in on it together. There's a few options here, isn't there? I know. Wow. Look at this. This is the one? Dude. Chalk. Chalk, Chalk gray? gray. Such a beautiful color. Wow. Might as well buy this to the West and go off. You definitely need this car. So yeah. Why this car? Why are you so smitten? I don't know. It? I was never excited about this car. Neither am I a Porsche fan, to be quite honest with you. But after I drove this car once, this is the only car that I want to drive that Randy owns. Really? It is. Everything about this car is perfect. So while Alex Choi gets his hopes up for that car, let's take a look around and see what else we can get our eye on. I'm really curious. Like all these cars here, for me personally, once I'm done with the R8, what would I get next? And this is like the best place to make that decision because they literally have everything. There we go. We have a 458 Challenge race car. And uh, you guys recognize this? Pretty sure that's the same one Damon had on his 458. So this is an actual like race car that you cannot drive on the streets. However, how sick would it be if you could make this somehow street legal? Because race car, look at the wheels. Then comes with the low tire option, low air pressure option. Wow. Brandon, tell us about this car. You're on the spot now. Tell the viewers. SLS Black Series, solar beam, yellow, carbon ceramics, carbon fiber. How much is it? Oh, like half a mil. A couple of spiders. What do you guys think of the red interior versus the black interior? What would you go for? Hmm. You guys, check this out. Do you remember this car? This is the actual car that Damon and I drove in a video a few months ago in Victoria, British Columbia that Silver Arrow had. This car was actually rebuilt on Vancouver Island where we live. This is the 1955 300 SL with the Golden Doors, obviously. Look at this thing. Crazy, being here in California also this is the car we drove in Victoria. Small world. I like how I literally skipped right by the law bar when I walked in. Kind of snake to you guys on that. But I'll do you justice. I'll show you the left Ferrari. This is actually Damon's dream car. I know he wants one. The price tag on this car, right now, as it sits, I don't know if it includes the four mats, is $3.8 million, obviously USD. That's a lot. Wow. It is something else. Look at those mirrors. 
beautiful. If you look closely, look closely, that's the flux capacitor. I love this car, it's a hybrid. It's good for the environment. And that's important to me. I snuck away with the sales guy. I'm pretty sure they're negotiating right now. Okay, so right now, the negotiations are taking place. I don't know any details. They kind of kicked me out because my dumb ideas. Let's see, let's see if Alex is a shoe negotiator. What's his body language saying right now? See, the leg cross is, means he's really comfortable. I think he needs to get more aggressive. He's on his phone. I don't know. I don't know what's happening here. Okay, what are we doing? We're gonna figure out how much it costs to buy that Bugatti. No, how much the payments would be? The payments on a Bugatti. Twenty nine grand a month. Hold, hold on. How much? Twenty nine thousand seven hundred a month. So to buy that car right now is that with zero down? No, four hundred down. So four hundred thousand dollars in cash down payment. Okay, Alex Troy, we have uh, there's some competitions happening. He won't tell me what the end result is, but just to be safe, we're gonna go to another dealership and look around a little bit. Well, we're not driving home, we're going to another dealer. I got a free donut, so thanks for that CNC. Little fatty right here. Oh! What? Oh. You! You! Lucky! Ding. <laughs> ding, 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 Alex Choi has the Porsche fever, and the only cure is a GT3, so the quest continues. I'd say that Chevy Cruze needs a head gasket or uh, maybe a set of rings. Holy smoke. Well, this is definitely the right place. Let's watch Alex's parking skills. Can you get it first shot? The people want to know. Oh, oh no, no, no. Alex, this isn't a price range. $4.99. Oh, 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 my bad, my bad. $4.99. Your CB radio stopped working, by the way. My CB radio stopped calling working. You. I was like, Dave, 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 answer me. Hey, there you are. Ready? Brandon, they've got a GT2 RS in there with your name on it. Oh, with my name Ready? on it? Welcome to my new car. Well, not literally, like, it says. Brand new GT2 RS. Oh, what do you think of that? You guys, this GT3 has a car seat. The gentleman literally had all this custom done from a Turbo S backseat bracket so he could take his kids to school. That's bad. So this is another option for Alex. It's a GT3 Touring. It's a bit less money. You don't get the crazy spoiler. What? Miami Blue Seatbelt. Oh! Those are sick. That is sick. Alex, what do you think? Those seatbelts are pretty sick. Okay, so this is the Touring package, which means you don't get carbon stomach brakes, you don't get the sporty crazy seats, Sporty and the big wings, but for Alex, he just tears that stuff off anyway. It's bumper delete, you know, he's gonna cut the springs to lower it. So I think it's a good option. It's also like fifty thousand dollars cheaper. Hey, Brandon, we made me a espresso. Yeah, um, sure. can you pull just like 12 grams of espresso through it and then use purified water for me? Yeah, no problem. Thanks, We're bro. gonna use a portion machine here. Oh, look how small this bottle of water is. Now hold it in your hand. You have giant hands, Alex. All right, bye. Good news. Talk to the sales guy. They know me. They said, you know what? We'll let you drive a car. It's like, perfect. I said, you know, the reality is that you're not getting any younger. You're 19 now. So it's time to get something with four doors, a bit more sensible, and better for the environment. So just give it a sec. We'll take care of you real good. Boom. And it's a hybrid. So it's good for the environment. Alex had a few kids in a couple years. He's all set. What do you think, Alex? Huh? I really like this one. Yeah. It's the old people. Alex, you are 19 now. You are an old person. The whole crew's coming. This is perfect. Yeah. Holy moly, look at all this. Wow. This is a $246,000 saloon car. Did you say a quarter million dollars? <clears throat> okay. Hey, there we are. You can see me. Sorry, I'm not better looking. All right. Oh. Like any DDE vlog, needs the gas stop. Way too many buttons on here. There's a lot of functions in this car. Walk us through it, Alex. Spoiler can go up and down. Okay. Um, oh, you can control the right height. Oh, drop it, drop it, drop it, drop Slam it. Slam it. <laughs> Alex, do an electric donut. Shh. It's so silent. That's scary. Yep. And we're on the freeway, still on the left side. Oh, this is it. You ready? Yeah. Huh. Look at that smile.
smile. He loves it. It feels like a Rolls Royce, but like... Right, because it it's so like a, calm. It feels like a race car Rolls Royce. That's what it feels like. The official race car Rolls Royce, you guys. You heard it here Rolls first. Rolls Brandon gets really car sick. How you doing back there, buddy? Doing well. You know, you're so car sick right now. He's playing it cool. Oh yeah. So right now, Brandon's trying to act all cool back there, but he's so sick. As soon as the camera goes off, he's like, guys, can we pull over for a minute? You okay, buddy? Yeah, I'm fine. <laughs> How are you? Such a lot. Sport response. Is that like boost? Mm. Yeah. So how do I use it? When you're driving, you just press it, and then it'll give you 20 seconds of... What? It's like NOS. Hold on, hold on, hold on. <laughs> what? What? It's not nitrous. It's just... What it's is like it? Fast and Furious. You it's press just... it, you go... Does it floorboard like shoot out? It's still there. Air into the turbine is what it's doing. Oh. 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 Ready? Oh. 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 So fast! What? <laughs> You guys! Wow! And we're in a Rolls Royce. We're in a Rolls Royce. We're not. We're not. We're not actually in a Rolls Royce. This is a Rolls Royce. This is a, this is a Rolls Royce. This thing is a machine. How about that? If you're watching this, and you've got kids, and you want something fun. You have to buy this car right now. The engine's off, and we're getting on the freeway. And it's Rolls Royce. It's absolutely a Rolls Royce race car. There's a branding Porsche. We're silent right now. Seriously blown away, Alex Troy nailed it when he called it a race car Rolls Royce. You guys talking some business here? I don't want to get in the way. Oh man, you guys, stay tuned. Well, Alex is still in there negotiating. I'm gonna head back to LA. Huge thank you to Mechanic Cars for hooking us up today. Um, I'm not sure what Alex is doing. He seems really pumped and we'll find out later what's going on. So in the meantime, I'll save you the hassle of being stuck in traffic and we'll shoot straight back to LA. Boom, we're back in LA. Just joking, we're actually in Newport Beach. I apologize, I snaked you a little bit there. Uh, I was originally going to LA and Alex hit me up saying, hey Dave, turn around. I have one more car to look at. So I don't know what happened at the last dealership if you bought the car or not. We're out here at Ayaluso in Newport and I see Alex over there and I see yet another chalk gray GT3. But he's sitting in it and maybe we can drive it this time. Oh, look at this. Yet another one. Dude, I was like halfway to LA when you text me. So, what's happening? Did you buy the last car? What's going on? The people want to know. I don't know. You don't know. This man is full of secrets. He probably bought five cars today. There's actually an Enzo around the corner. Oh yeah, I said Enzo. Boom. The first time I saw this car, when was it? It was somebody like off-roading, I think, years ago when I was younger. It's actually really funny. My friend, who's not really into cars, was like, hey man, uh, what's worth more, an Enzo or a 458? And I was like... This car is absolutely sick. This is the AMG SLS Black Series. And you guys, the best part of this car, and there's many, many parts, but check out the doors. Oh yeah. Name one thing in life that beats that. Nothing. I've driven the GT3, the GT3 RS and a GT4 and they all have this amazing feel like put on a baseball glove, it just fits you perfectly. And this one, of course, is manual. So what do you guys think? Should Alex Choi buy this car? I think the answer is yes, but I think he has to work out some stuff first, so we will see. What's under the hood? Nothing. Not much. Two little. Those are tiny PC little fans. cooling fans. Is like that what that is? On your PCs? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like the cooling fans. Oh. What is this? That's where the center wheel is. Center wheel lock. Oh, get out of here. So. That way. Now, now everybody's going to know, but you have both your compressor. So guys, you get a flat tire. How many foot pounds of pressure do you need to crack that? 700? Ooh, that's a good question. They tighten to like 400 and they're normally like, yeah, like 500. So your torque wrench would be like six feet long. So, this is how I normally get up. Oh. Oh. That's pretty good, oh. Brandon. Yeah. I noticed they have an espresso machine. Yeah. So can we, you know, 
I can't snap my, I can't snap my fingers. You want an espresso? I got yeah. you, I got you. Espresso, espresso. You want espresso? Espresso? I want some hot chocolate. Hot chocolate? Dude. Just get hooked up with a Pagani. Oh, Pagani merch. Merch? That's sick. Don't worry, we got one for you too. Oh, do that choice. I got hooked up. Uh, sir. You're in a woman's bathroom. <laughs> all the side of my car to buy. You heard it first here, folks. You just like stole all my footage, so thank you. Yeah, thanks for that. Yeah. I also, I also stole your thumbnail. I stole your thumbnail. You thought, and you guys thought I was the nice one. Tacos. Sounds good to me. Taco brat. What do you have to offer? What'd you get? Uh, pork verde and carne asada. Beautiful. I got pork verde, verde, and shrimp. Awesome. Cheers. Look at all that juice. Fly now, Brando. Uh, we're gonna go meet Troy at PSM Dynamic. Yep. And uh, he's got a little little surprise. Brandon has led me down some strange place, but I found an even more strange car, which belongs to the Alex Choi, who has some secret top mad scientist stuff happening right now. Check it out. Thanks for waiting, Brandon. Must be through here. Okay, I don't know what any of this is. Choi. He's getting the B-roll, you guys. Where are we right now? Welcome to PSM Dynamic, which is gonna be the place that's going to make my M2, craziest M2 you'll ever see. How crazy are you talking? Oh, like... Like pink Lamborghini crazy? Like pink Lamborghini, like... On the stairway. Oh, my buddy. <clears throat> um, crazy. He may have given a small little hint there, his breath. I did some molds and stuff, so these guys make like wide body kits and custom body work. Is that the deal? This must be the spray booth or they do the resin stuff? Look at this. Is this yours? Dude. Alright Troy, we out. Hit it. Brandon, Santa Monica? Sure. You guys, I've never been to Santa Monica before, so I wanna go check that out. Okay, you guys, I kinda lied to you back there. I have been to Santa Monica before. I've never been to the pier and all the things you see on TV, so if you haven't seen that before, this will be a treat for you. I'm hoping it is everything I have made up to be, which is a boardwalk full of some crazy people. What's your favorite thing about living in LA? You can wear crazy this. Yeah, you dress like a crazy man. Look, guys, look at his outfit. What is this hoodie you're wearing? I don't know. I think it's Burberry. Oh, dude, whatever, right? Yeah. I love the fact that it's pretty much something to do at all times in this city. Whereas back where we live in Canada, there ain't nothing going on. Okay, that is Santa Monica Pier. As you can tell, it's quite foggy right now. We're on the pier. We're on the pier. I see we have some DD fans right up there. <laughs> right there. You know why that cop has his lights on right now? Because of you. That hoodie you're wearing. It? It's a crime against humanity. You know what's really funny, Brandon? What? We come to LA all the time, like sometimes twice a month. I've never come to the beach in California before in my life. And here it is right here, you guys. See the water? I, I hate to break your, you know, passion about the whole beach thing. You came at the wrong time. Why? Summer's over. Well, so, it's always summer in California. What are you talking about? Foggy. Yeah, is it foggy all winter now? Is that the deal? Yeah, pretty much. Ah. I just learned from the meteor meteorologist Brandon that it's always foggy in the winter in California. Alright dude, we checked out the pier, it's pretty neat. All right. There's pretty lots cool. of things to do if you've uh, got kids or... I think it's a good place to bring like your wife or your girlfriend. It looks ominous with all the fog on it, hey? The fog makes everything look so much more like sinister. All right, you guys, that's it for today's video. We had an epic day. This car shop with Alex Choi, yeah. who kicked us out. I don't know why. I think he bought a GT3. I think he bought three of them today, actually, because he negotiated at each dealership. He did. So stay tuned for that. In the meantime, we got some DD merch. ShopDD.com. Other than that, what's the last thing they have to do? Smash that subscribe button. Smash it for me. Going to Vancouver for a special Halloween supercar cruise with McLaren. Into the air, literally five feet from us. We almost died twice. Twice.